Every summer, more than 40,000 people venture across the state, the country, and the world to come to this place, McRae Meadow. They come to see the games, hear the music, and learn the history, and all of it is unforgettable. This is the Grandfather Mountain Highland Games. The games are held each July on Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina. Agnes McRae Morton and Donald F. McDonald founded the games in 1956 with little hope or notion that it would become a true institution, helping to preserve Scottish culture and providing a vast platform for modern and traditional Celtic arts. Despite how much it has grown, the Founders' vision of a traditional Highland Games remains intact, fulfilled by the gathering clans, the formidable athletes, the graceful dancers, and the fleet of bagpipe bands. But even though it's traditional, Grandfather has a unique feature that keeps some people returning year after year with no sign of letting up. During the games, hundreds of people don't just visit, they live here. My name is Garner Stewart and I've been coming to Grandfather for 26 years. First time I came to Grandfather Mountain was in 1986, I believe. I've been coming up here since I was seven, so 26 years now, I think. I'm Barbara Fallon to be more. I've been camping the only times I've come to the game and I've been doing it for about 17 or 18 years and 15 of them with, have been with the Sharps here next to me. At the Grandfather Games, you can find one family by tracing your Celtic heritage, and perhaps another by meeting new friends and finding kindred spirits. The camping is wonderful because you do meet people. Like Babe and Rod here, we've been camping with them for 15 years, and so we've known them for a long time, and a lot of the people around here we know, and it's always good to see them, and everybody does become family. And we're here for the whole week. We don't just come during the time that they're actually having the games on the field. We start the weekend before so you have all the time to meet each other, not just doing the activities that are on the field. And that's almost the most important and then the field stuff is kind of second. People want to know why we come here. Uh, my family is basically very, very small. There's not many of us left. And this place here, this is literally my family. From the first uh, first year that I came here, camping was immediately family, and that's I mean that's the main reason that I come here is like the, this entire campground. I know, I mean I would say I know the majority of people here and and have been, and have made close relationships with uh, you know selected groups. The reason I keep coming back every year is first of all for the uh, family reunion aspect of it. I come here with my three brothers and my sister and our significant others and it's a great opportunity to reconnect and I'm currently trying to uh, recruit some more distant relatives to join us. In fact, so strong is the camaraderie here that even some locals choose to camp during the games in order to see friends old and new. I'm one of the few people that don't have to drive seven or eight or nine hours to get here. I live in Linville. So, I've actually, you know, shuttled people down to my house just so they can take a shower. The on-site camping is one of the most integral features of the Grandfather Games, and it brings together hundreds of people from all walks of life. Here, there's no such thing as an unlikely friendship. First time we camped here was when Hurricane Charlie came through, and we moved to the island because it looked like it would be better for the rain. And we looked at Mike Sharp and his long beard and thought, oh my God, who are these other people here? And by the time we left that week, it was like, we can't wait to see you next year. You're such wonderful people. You're not nearly as scary as you look. You actually run into a totally different generation, mixed generations of people that are just awesome. And we all have the same like-mindedness when it comes to why we're here. And you have the opportunity to meet more people and have more time to chat. And that's one of the things I think coming up here is you don't know who's going to be next to you, you don't know who you're going to be mixing with, and by the time you leave, I've never had anybody I left in a bad mood with. It was always, I can't wait to see you next year, we're going to do everything together next year. And that is like the most special part about coming up here. There are definitely some uh, characters up here. You will yes. see, you will see everything that you can possibly imagine up here but some of the nicest nicest people uh, 
every spectrum of the rainbow you can imagine and we make it happen. We yep. get along, we have fun. Over the years, the campgrounds have developed an atmosphere all their own with no shortage of things to enjoy. There have been years where I came here and probably only went out to the field for 30 minutes. And, you know, that's it because I was happy just being, I mean, it's almost two different games going on. We've been camping here on Grandfather for probably 35 years. The music, the yep. food, uh, the group, it's, just, the group. it's just one, one Kaylee right after the other. When the sun goes down, you can just move from campsite to campsite and listen to some of the, the best music and the best stories that, uh, that, that you've ever heard. Yeah. I think the biggest way that uh, camping is different from coming as a day visitor is it's a much more relaxed experience. You can come and go anytime you want. You can um, participate, watch a few of the games, come back to the campsite for lunch and then go back at any time. Um, you don't have to deal with traffic issues. So like the camping versus the field during the day, it feels like when you're going up to the field, you're kind of getting yourself put together to go out for the day. And you're heading out of your home and you're heading you know, for, for a day trip into, into the field and it feels more formal, I guess. All of this adds a dimension that is completely unique to the Grandfather Mountain Highland Games. What was already a gathering of kith and kin is made even more personal and powerful by the close ties between so many people. Talking with the people that haven't been here, you know, their first, the first timers, the first years, um, to me that is uh, refreshing because I wish, you know, it was my first year in a sense. For me, it's just the camaraderie of the people on the mountain, everybody's family here. And I, uh, even even to strangers, I say all the time, welcome home. We've raised all our children on the mountain. Uh, we've watched everybody else raise their children on this mountain. We're very thankful to have the opportunity to be able to come up. Or, or yeah, to, meet, to meet so many I'm people. I'm getting teary. To meet so many different people and just yeah. find really good friends. So, you know, we enjoy the games and we also enjoy the opportunity to be able to, to camp here and just enjoy the cool weather and and not have to fight that crowd to get on the shuttle to go down. And we have one rule, no religion, no politics, <laughs> everything else we can talk about. This is one of the many things that makes the Grandfather Games such a special event. You never witnessed this kind of event before and to be honest with you, I don't think there's another place on the planet like this. In all honesty, I'd, I don't know what these games would be like without the aspect of camping. We come here a week early just to camp before the games even start. So, I mean, if that tells you how much we love the camping. <laughs> She's got a chair she don't like nobody to sit oh, in. Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> It'll dump them out the floor. She's the only one that can sit in it, I'm not lying. It, makes, it means I always have a chair around the fire because everyone is warned, don't sit in the purple chair, that's Babe's chair, and if you sit in Babe's chair, you are gonna end up on your butt. That's I do true. believe the year that one year y'all left and I come back and picked all the stuff up, you had left the, the Antichrist chair, as I refer to and it. And we came back to get it. Join us and experience it for yourself. We'll see you on the mountain.